All right, we're here at Orcutt Ranch in West Hills, and we're just going to take you through our setup. This is the ceremony area, and I uh, guess we'll arrive uh, from the front of the property. <clears throat> Come in and find their seats here. The DJ booth we've set up in the back so it's out of sight, and we've done just one speaker in the uh, corner there so that it's out of uh, camera frame for photographers and videographers. And since the area is nestled in trees, one large speaker will fill the area pretty nicely. Um, note to DJs or entertainers, there's only one power source, which is back over here. And so we've uh, run cabling and camouflaged it to our base here. And then you need 75 feet of cable of power and speaker cable to get over. Um, speakers should always be forward facing if possible so that as the guest is sitting, the sound hits them from the front. If uh, DJ's lazy, sometimes they'll just set the speaker up next to them and then all the sound is hitting everyone from behind, which is a little weird. So you can imagine yourself sitting here and can you hear how nice the sound is? So we're gonna head over to the cocktail and uh, reception area. It's a, a very pretty walk just through the trees. So this is the reception. We'll circle back to that in a minute. Um, there's a few ways to get in. Uh, you can go around the side of the house from the ceremony or uh, often they'll route people kind of through the house because it's a very pretty space. This can also be used as a dance floor. This area in here, through there is the cake, and we'll uh, show you that in a minute. And then just out this door is the cocktail hour. And usually for here, we just set a speaker up, pull power through that window, and do a speaker in an iPod. Once cocktail is over, it's uh, just a short walk into the reception area. Nice gazebo here that can also be used for ceremonies. So sometimes the uh, DJ, there's a, a few options. The DJ booth, the dancing can actually happen in here in the cake room as well. Uh, or dance floor is often in this area, depending on guest count, all the tables may be over there. Uh, and DJ can be in the corner under this tree. For today, you can see we've got the DJ booth back here. Two small challenges. One, it sometimes can be difficult because it's very removed from uh, the area. It looks great and it's definitely uh, designed for a dance floor, um, but it can be a bit of a pull to try to get guests over here. So you wanna make sure you have a guest count that's really excited to dance. Um, so we've done two speakers. We're also uplighting all these pillars and uh, we've done a lighting system to create a pattern on the dance floor. The other challenge is that the speakers are pretty far away from all the tables. So as you get to the far back for dinner music and toast, um, we've added an extra speaker right here for fill sound. So hopefully you can hear the difference in sound. That speaker throws to about here. And as it starts to fade, the speaker picks up the gap. So it's important to have good sound for toasts and whatnot. And, and if you only have the speakers in the back, there is really gonna be an echo. So having an extra speaker dropped in here will fill this area nicely. And uh, it's always advisable to have a bar uh, as close to the party as possible. Sometimes the only bar is back around the corner and that's another thing that'll draw people out of your dance space. Um, then we're gonna have a little candy bar in here and uh, a really nice area for cake cutting. And uh, this room can be a bit dark and it's actually back light lit the cake with the house lights. So we're gonna uh, spot the cake and we've got these cool little uh, pin spots and they're actually magnetic, which is pretty slick. So we've got one on either side here and then we've also got uh, up lights on the side and on the back walls, which is really gonna bring this whole room alive. And uh, we'll show you video and photos of that later. And that's the whole setup here at Orcutt Ranch in West Hills.